2 1 in favor of the Rockies here to the top of inning number three on our Sunday salute to the military. We mentioned that the Padres made some news off the field today before this game got underway as general manager Josh Burns joins us here in the booth and uh, you get Carlos Quentin under contract three year deal and uh, sounds like it's a good deal for both sides. Yeah I think so we're excited about it. Uh, you know we need him on our team. He, he's a proven middle of the order guy. Uh, we saw we were without him. Uh, we got him in the offseason for a reason. And uh, again an, an intense guy a guy can intimidate opponents change a game very quickly. And uh, you know we had a lot of financial flexibility going in the next couple of years. Uh, you never know what the alternatives are. We we think about them, but we felt that was the best use of it, and uh, and the continuity of the team. You know, we we think we've got a lot of good pieces here. I've said it a lot this this month. We're not we don't want to tear this team apart. We want to keep building with the, with this group. Josh, was this something in the back of your mind when acquiring Quentin that this point of the year? I guess what I'm trying to say is, was this a long-term thing when you acquired him to possibly try to lock him up for multi-year? In a perfect world, you know, you never know. I mean, for one, he's, he's you know, there's a guy who was drafted nine years ago. Mm -hmm. He's close to free agency. You never know uh, how appealing that's going to be. Um, he's coming to a new place or a new team. He obviously knows San Diego, but we felt, you know, he'd like it here. He grew up here. Uh, I've known Carlos a long time, and, uh, you know, the more uh, I saw him with us, the more I thought it was the right fit, and, and he agreed to And Headley will make that catch for out number one. And it's interesting that you point out too. I mean, a lot of people have gotten used to the fact that you have guys here, and then they're going to be free agents, and they're automatically dealt. But you talk about building a team, and that that is a huge cornerstone piece to have a guy that can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, I mean, last year we didn't have much power. First part of this year, and uh, you know, we need it. We need a lot of things to be the kind of team we want to be. But to have a true middle of the order, uh, and in certain nights we've seen it, not just Q, but the other guys that uh, you know we can score quickly and. Obviously we need pitching we need defense we need speed we need a lot of things but but we've seen what we look like without power and uh, uh, we needed to have that on our roster. I think it's great for everybody Josh because it sends a signal not only to the guys in the clubhouse but the fans here in San Diego continuity commitment. No doubt uh, you know the fans have been great it's been a rough year how we started I, they responded as we played better. Um, I know the history here uh, I've, I've observed it from afar I've learned it since I've been here and. And, and we're excited. We do think this is a good group. We like the farm system behind it. We want to keep building with it. Um, we still have a ways to go, but uh, the, I, I like the signal it sends, and, and I think the fans will appreciate it. And, and they've been great so far responding to this group. And I'm sure you've had to love the, the way the team has performed over the last, uh, you know, four to five weeks. So just the fact that uh, gaining some ground in the West and, and playing better baseball. Yeah, I, you know, it's again the start was so rough with the injuries. We've all we've all seen it, but. Uh, you know buddy and I have talked a lot we can still focus on who we want to be how we want to play we play hard we play with energy. Uh, we've been a more exciting team to watch uh, in addition to winning more so that's good for us and, and good for the fans.